the tape for this, our main event of the evening, the Brazilian 37. The American is 35. 202 was the official weigh-in weight of Anderson Silva. Stefan Barner will have a reach advantage with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon side are Mark Collette, Doug Crosby, and Cardo Urso. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Mark Goddard. And now, from the sold out HSBC Arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record. 17 wins, seven losses. Standing six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, 93 kilos. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, the American psycho, Stefan Bonner. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record, 32 wins, four losses. Standing six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 202 pounds, 91.5 kilos. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, presenting the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Anderson, the Spider Silva! Okay, gentlemen, you understand the rules that you're fighting under. You listen to me at all times, you keep yourself protected at all times. When I say stop, you stop. Tokyo lovers, touch gloves, let's do this. Main event. Anderson Silva, Stefan Bonner. The American psycho has said for years I've been trying to top that forest fight. Tonight, I can. Here we go! A slip by Silva. Bonner in the red trunks, black trunks, Bonner for Silva. Deep, deep on a single, knee in the thigh of Anderson. See what kind of takedown defense Anderson has against a big light heavyweight. And a big light heavyweight too. And Anderson maintaining a whizzer on the left's overhook. Whoa. The overhook on the right arm, trying to get that knee, controlling the bicep to the left, trying to keep Bonner from getting behind him and dragging him to the ground. That's what Bonner's trying to do right now, and Anderson turns towards him. Very nice. Well, that's what you talked about, Joe. Would that be his plan? I, I would imagine it would be. He's got double underhooks here. I believe he has an underhook at the right side, and that's a good position for him. Yep, he's got it. So what he wants to do, Anderson's got very good takedown defense, a very underrated takedown defense. We really saw that in the second round of that last Chael Sonnen fight. Second best takedown defense in middleweight history possessed by Anderson Silva. Who's got the best? Let me look at my notes. <laughs> Brad Tavares. Okay. Yeah, that's why I didn't remember it right away. No disrespect to Brad. Absolutely. The fine Hawaiian. Elbows, short punches. Three round Bonner fight, don't forget. Again. Good underhooks by Anderson. Now Anderson has double underhooks. This is the kind of fight that Bonner wanted to make. A dirty, ugly, close fight. Anderson's got the plum, though. Bonner has to be very careful here because Anderson is a master at that technique. Good underhook by Anderson. Turns him around. 
the vicious clinch and the plum that he used against Rich Franklin not once but twice. Part of the long highlight reel of the champion Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva has really deceptive strength. It's really unusual the way he can ragdoll people around. The Rich Franklin fight is a no good example of that. Bonner staying right in his face. And they break. Look at that. Anderson went back to the cage. He's standing there on the cage on purpose. Wow. Counter. He went right back. This is crazy. Bonner's got to be careful here. I mean, Anderson is standing completely flat against the cage on purpose. And allow, I mean, that's, that, that shows what disdain he has for Bonner's skills. <laughs> and his he's corner, his corner, corner yeah. after him. He's like, hey, Yeah, I got it. It's our good. Bonner going for the single. Good elbow by Anderson. Oh, wow. Good shot. And he generates Bonner so much holding. power with those short punches, Joe. Well, his technique is perfect. Yeah. He's got nice. fluidity. He has got head movement that is second to none as well. Well, he also knows how to turn when punches hit him. So they roll. Roberto Duran was a master at that. Look at this. This is crazy. He's standing right in front of Bonner. You would think if Bonner has a chance, the only way is that Anderson stands in front of him and lets Bonner tee off on him. And that's exactly what he's doing. There's still part of me that believes Anderson let Chael take him down the first round of their rematch just to prove again he couldn't finish him. But that part of you needs to go see a doctor. <laughs> There's more than one part that needs to. <laughs> <laughs> Anderson holding onto the arm, and he takes him down. Swarms him. Big oh, knee. Mickey, that is her. This is going to be it. Looking to finish the fight right here. It is all over. Wow. Anderson Silva defeats Stefan Bonner. He is the first guy to ever stop Stefan Bonner. Unbelievable. And he did it with a knee to the body, folks. A vicious knee to the solar plexus. I believe there was a huge knee thrown in his last fight as well. His knees are just outstanding. The best in the business. Yep. And a knee changed everything against Henderson. And there's this fluidity to the way he throws these techniques, the punches and the kicks. They're, they're so efficient because his technique is so good and he's done it millions and millions of times that they just have this maximum power that he delivers them with. Anderson trips him, takes him down, trips him and then grabs the ankle. Now checks his, here it is, boom, perfectly in the solar plexus. You see Bonner react, curls up in a ball, he's in bad, bad trouble here. And Anderson is all over him. One more brilliant performance by the greatest martial artist of all time. Look at this knee. Perfectly placed right to the solar plexus. And Bonner, a man who has absorbed inhuman punishment from every single opponent he's ever faced, crumples under one brilliant blow by the master. The first time he has been stopped in his career in a fight not due to cuts. Ladies and gentlemen, if this guy doesn't fight John Jones, it's a travesty. I know John doesn't want to fight him, and Anderson says he doesn't want to fight him. I really hope they reconsider. I know they have great respect for each other, uh, I, but you know what? For history's sake, for history's sake, these two men need to fight. He is the greatest of all time. 3-0 and at 205, 16-0 in the UFC. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO Anderson, the Spider!